Hi, this is Greg Herder, and recently I was talking to one of my friends who said, Greg, if I find a home online that I want to buy, can I get a discount on the commission since you don't have to do any work? <laughs> and it sort of made me laugh because I thought they don't really understand the value of what an agent does. So I just wanted to talk to you about the value of an agent. 40 years ago, when I got started in real estate, part of the value of an agent was they had the multiple listing service book, the list of homes that were for sale. And that was valuable because most people couldn't find that information on their own. Today, I mean, for the last 20, 25 years, as the internet has come on, information has been freely available about all the homes listed for sale. Now, this has been incredibly good. It's allowed lending to flourish because the value of homes is much easier to determine. But the value of an agent has never been in actually finding a home. It's actually in what you do once you actually want to write up an offer. That's where negotiating on your behalf Doing those certain things can make a huge difference for you. And that's why I recommend to all of my prospective buyers that they actually sign an exclusive buyer representation agreement with me. Now, people ask, Greg, why is that important? Well, remember that when a listing agent signs a listing agreement, they say, well, you know, all the agents out there are sub-agents, but since the sellers agreed to pay, unless there's a contract, they're sort of obligated to give their best interest to the seller. And so this is an important thing. And this is why when you sign an agency agreement, you get a whole different relationship. Let's actually take a look at the contract. This is the buyer representation agreement. And notice it says that there is a possible dual agency with the seller. And when there's a dual agency, there's always a conflict of interest because you're trying to represent two, buyer, two parties. But now, if you sign a buyer's agency agreement, you're basically saying, listen, I want my agent to represent me exclusively. And I want them to negotiate aggressively on my behalf and share with me any information that they find out. Now, I'm going to work exclusively for you and not for the seller because I have a contract with you. Now, does that mean you have to pay me? Well, what it means is that you agree to work with me and it says the buyer authorizes broker to locate and present selected properties of the buyer, present offers authorized by the buyer. So I'm going to help you write up an offer. And then I'm going to present that offer and negotiate on your behalf for your best interest. Then I will assist with the financing process following up, including loan pre-qualification upon request, provide the buyer with a list of professionals or vendors to perform services on the buyer's inspection advisory. I'll order reports, schedule and attend meetings and appointments with professionals, and I'll provide guidance in relationship to the acquisition of this property. And that's where I'm really providing great value. And I will provide a review forms, create the property contract. If the property contains residential property with one or two four dwellings, conduct a reasonable, competent, diligent, on-site visual inspection of the accessible areas of the property, excluding any common areas, and disclose to the buyer all facts materially affecting the value and desirability of such property that are revealed by this inspection. Deliver or communicate to a buyer into disclosures material or information received in the personal possession or personally known to the individual signing for the broker. So basically, what I'm gonna do is work on your behalf to get the very best deal for you. I really believe the value of 
signing an exclusive agency with a broker in advance is that now the broker has your best interest at heart throughout the entire transaction. Yes, you can wait until you actually find a property and then sign a, an agreement and say, I want you to be my broker. But anything that they have found beforehand, they still are obligated not to really share that with you. I want you to understand if you really want an aggressive agent working on your behalf, commit to them. Now, what I do with all my buyers is say, listen, if you hire me to be your agent, I will work incredibly hard for you. Now, I'm going to work with you, and what I'm going to ask for you is your commitment that you'll work exclusively with me for 30 days. If I haven't found a house you want in 30 days, you can say, Greg, you haven't worked hard enough. I'm going to go try a different broker. What I hope is you'll see I've been working as hard as I possibly can, communicating well and keeping up. You give me another 30 days. And we basically go 30 days by 30 days so that if you're ever unhappy, you can now go find a different broker, but you know that I'm always working on your behalf. Now, the advantage of that is that I'm going to also give you business cards, my business cards, so that when you walk into an open house, you can say, oh, by the way, here's my agent. I'm represented. And they shouldn't bug you for information. If you need information about any property, just give me the address. If you find it online, it doesn't matter. Send it to me, email it to me, text it to me, and I will get you every bit of information about it. And sometimes people say, well, Greg, will you have access to every bit of information about every home for sale? Yes. If it's an ethical agent, I will. Because... <clears throat> If an agent takes a listing but doesn't tell anybody but themselves about it, think about what they're doing to their client. They're saying, well, listen, I'm going to hold this back so I can try and sell it myself. And instead of exposing that property to as many people as possible, I'm trying to do it. Is that the type of agent you'd really want representing both the seller and you as a buyer? Trust me, that's not quite right. So if you want great representation, call me. Let's have a 10, 15 minute discussion. See if I'm the right agent for you. And if you're willing to sign a buyer's agency agreement with me and let me go to work helping you find the perfect home, whether you find it online yourself, whether I help you find it, I promise I will more than earn my commission and have a great experience for you. Click link below and let's talk.